In 1992, in Hollis, Queens, New York, the seminal streetwear label, FUBU, was born. It was founded by Damon John, J. Alexander Martin, Keith Perrin, and Carlton Brown. The idea for the brand came about a few years prior when John Draymond would sell printed t-shirts highlighting events associated with black culture. T-shirts with slogans such as What Happened to Poor Rodney King? and Free Mike Tyson. John realized that black people purchased these t-shirts because of the emotional connection of the shared experience of African Americans in early 90s America. Tapping into this emotional connection was the catalyst for starting the brand. John decided to partner up with his neighborhood friends, J. Alexander Martin, Keith Perrin, and Carlton Brown to start FUBU. They started out by selling a small line of hats with the FUBU logo on it, remortgaged their family home for a reported $100,000 in order to raise funds to get the brand off the ground. The founders turned half of Damon's house into their factory and the other half into a living space. Clothing store Montego Bay on Queens Jamaica Avenue was the first store to carry the FUBU line. Legendary retailer Macy's soon followed to great success. At one point, the department store featured the four FUBU founders in a live interactive window display in its flagship store on 34th Street. A turning point for the brand was the Magic Men's Apparel Show in Las Vegas. The founders attended the event with samples and received $300,000 worth of orders. The only problem was that they had no idea how to fulfill them. John's mother suggested they advertise in the New York Times for an investor. In 1995, Samsung answered a classified ad and invested in FUBU. Like many urban wear brands of the time, FUBU's connection with hip hop facilitated its mainstream success. The streetwear outfit collaborated with LL Cool J to promote the label, and he was soon seen as the face of the brand. The partnership between the two was so strong that LL Cool J was even seen wearing a FUBU hat and referencing FUBU in a freestyle used in a Gap Jeans advert. FUBU would later venture into the music business when they joined forces with Universal Records to release the Good Life album. This compilation album featured artists such as Ludacris, Eric Sermon, LL Cool J, Keith Murray and many more. 1998 saw FUBU achieve its most successful year, whereby they made $350 million in sales. The brand would go on to help pave the way for many urban wear brands of the 2000s.